I'm Claudia Bunce. I love Jade. <laughs> Tube to Jade. Up here near the Yukon in Jade City, we've got the world's richest deposits of Neferite Jade, and the Chinese want it. <laughs> this is going to be the million dollar rock. Now, we just have to find it. Go! I will dig till my hands bleed. makes people do crazy things. <laughs>
，那也就没有问题了。Yeah. Yeah. We agree. They want to have some sellable jade, so now it's the push is on to get it this year. The investors are hungry for more of what the Chinese call the Stone of Heaven. They showed Claudia and Robin what they did with last year's Jade City Jade. Wow. This is a, a from our Dennis claim. Wow. I couldn't believe how gorgeous the carvings were. They were amazing. This is one from Jade City. No. That's all stuff. Take it out. Seeing products finished out of our jade, that's pretty special. We know that there is some really gorgeous stuff on our site. We want to go. We want to see it. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. right. The investors were hooked, too. They bankrolled the Bunces, and Claudia's dream for Wolverine became real. Good morning. We just woke up. We got a really good night's sleep. Oatmealed up, coffeeed up. We're just getting ready to head out. This is our first day. We left last night and spent six hours on the trail, and now we're going to try and put in a full day. And... Today, they hope to make it to the Turnigan River, the fast-flowing waterway that marks the halfway point to Wolverine. The trip is a big test for 19-year-old Josh. 20 years before I was ever even born, my grandpa was out here pounding down this road trying to get Jade out of here. So I had always seen photos, heard stories of how intense this road is, but I've never actually been on it. Every rock in the road, you feel in your back because there's no suspension. Like there's no such nothing. I'm running on metal pads. Rock! For my dad to give me the responsibility and getting that piece of equipment was just huge, absolutely, because there is a lot of factors, and it's uh, it's it's a pretty nerve-wracking thing to undergo because I have to watch everything on that thing and prepare to take full responsibility if anything goes wrong. Just a few kilometers into the day, and the road is already beating up the excavator. I'm rolling along, like, watching my pad in front of me, and all of a sudden. Oh. Just noticed my track hanging off a little bit, so I came over, and it's missing two bolts. It's, there's no way I'll snap this, eh? Yeah, just don't fall on your ass. Well, I can't control metal breaking or not breaking. It's a significant problem for sure. We can't run the track this loose, so now we're just trying to tighten the f out of it. And we stripped a bolt. Yeah, we'll see how long it holds. All good. Okay, and we're off again after another minor delay. And we're not even to the shitty part of the road. It's not just the excavator. The Bedford, with the trailer holding three diesel tanks, has got issues too. Our bunkhouse here is protruding off the end of our truck. And we've got a big tall tidy tank in our trailer because we can uh, puncture that pretty easily. Here we go for our first creek crossing. Here we are on the other side. Right on. The Bedford leads the way. It's faster than the other machines, but is far less stable. That looks like our only path here. I'm definitely going to get stuck. This is going to be a little sketchy. Having all our eggs in one basket strapped to the back of Bedford with R2 in the driver's seat, pretty crazy. This is really slippy shit. OK, here we go. This is quite a mud bog here. Yeah, try not to fall into left side there. Transfer to the left if I can. Trying to avoid that big rut. Climb, climb, climb. Get out, get out. Here we go. This is quite a mud bog here. Yeah. 
Try not to fall into the left side there. On a muddy road to a remote jade claim, R2 is trying to keep a Bedford truck and its trailer of diesel tanks upright. Climb, climb. Get out, get out. There we go. We got the trailer out. Seven kilometers into their second day, and the road to Wolverine is quickly deteriorating. That is greasy stuff. That was very low. Right on the stretch here, I'm going to pull over. The bunkhouse survives, but the fuel tank wasn't so lucky. Oh, yeah, that was rough, all right. Holy sh! It is now a 700 liter tank. Yeah. Yeah, well, as long as you don't puncture it. The guys hope to make it across the fast rising Turnigan River today, still another 30 kilometers down the road. Fuel up and then carry on. All the way up to Claudia's remote jade mining claim. Look at this. A wonderful sunny day in Beijing. <laughs> On a business trip to the smog-choked Chinese capital earlier in the year, Alan took Claudia and Robin to China's cultural and historic center, the 600-year-old Forbidden City. See the animal on the corner? All the animals on the corner, yeah? Yeah, that's uh, the son of dragon. Nine sons of the dragon? Yeah. I want uh, Claudia and uh, Robin to meet a uh, jade expert. This is the Professor Song. Hello, Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Professor Song Haiyang is the Forbidden City's resident jade authority and sees a bright future for Canadian jade. What Professor Song told us is that Canadian jade is the best, it's the number one. And the professor had an amazing invitation for Claudia. Professor Song told us that when we find great jade this year, that he'd be honored to have us have a show in the Forbidden City of our jade. That's pretty freaking amazing. I will dig till my hands bleed. Back on the road to Wolverine and 15 kilometers away from the Turnigan River. But push it in? Push it in, yeah, there you go. The Jade City crew is elbow deep in machinery problems. Two bolts broke and this split right here. Jam that thing in there and it came <laughs> up comes off and it gets wedged in there. Like, like a can opener peels the metal on a couple of the other pads. So this has now turned into a little bit bigger of a problem. So we just have to pound the shit out of the pads, get them leveled out. Yeah, you show them who gets in the buckwheat. <laughs> uh, well, even if the track breaks right off, we can carry on. We'll try to make it last as long as we can. Fixed for now, the excavator's wobbly track is about to face its toughest challenge, a stretch of road nicknamed Boulder Alley. Well, uh, we're in it now. We arrived in Boulder Alley, and they weren't lying. There's boulders. It's rough. I'm trying to keep it rated PG here. Think about what it's like sitting on all those pieces of equipment. I'm thankful to have tires. I see some cat took a shortcut, so I thought I'd try it and uh, a little on a sketchy side. In order to preserve the tracks, he is doing some bushwhacking. rocks everywhere. I think we're out of the worst of it, guys. It's some nice soft dirt here. R2 and Guy have made it through. Now they wait for Josh and the excavator. Wonderful little breeze. No mosquitoes. But Boulder Alley has dished out a deadly pounding on the excavator's tracks. So we made it through Boulder Alley, and we feel like we're killing it, like it's going really good right now. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, with tracks coming off, and... Holy shit. 
Well, we serviced the equipment, but we didn't do like 100% service. We're figuring we're maybe halfway there. Very frustrating. So now we got to order a new sprocket. Sprocket's worn right out. That's why it flipped off. Five kilometers short of the surging Turnigan River and less than halfway to Wolverine, the crew's trek has been halted in the middle of nowhere. Nice place to break down. We are trapped out here together. We are This whole rock guard, this whole bracket here is supposed to be straight. The what? The excavator's track has come off just short of the Turnigan River, the halfway marker to Wolverine. Our biggest failure that could potentially happen has happened. The track's come off, so we're in trouble. This is big. Hello, Disney. When they phoned and said the excavator's down, that was a big okay. issue. OK, bye. Welcome to my world. OK, so what are we doing now? After a 24-hour delay, the crew gets a break. Robbins tracked down the parts they need and has them airlifted in. New sprocket, rock guard, a bunch of new rollers, and we can repair it. OK. Bum. You think this Look at the whole is edge. the reason why? No, I think those are the reason why. This track coming back on this machine is a golden opportunity for me to prove that I can get my hands in there and get it done. The only spot we can really put weight on it's up here. Because this way we're lifting. Yeah. I wanted to get the job done and come home reigning champion. So when I look over my shoulder and see them rolling up, here come my parents to save the day and seize the moment. Total buzzkill. We will figure it out. Hopefully, we don't put the track on backwards. I'm kind of clear there. Kind of. Use the short ones, Eddie. Like this? Yeah. Robin's old school, where you just shut up and listen. And Joshua's 19, where he knows everything. Set her down. Too heavy. Perfect. Yeah, that's really good. Or not. Robin's taking charge, and Josh is pushing back. What are you looking Th for? This whole track? Watch your... That's, that's why I didn't... That's why I wasn't touching it. Just He was just going to move back an inch. Why don't you... Teenagers now, you can't tell them anything. I can't undo it. You yeah, need to get... there you go. Now you can undo you it. A second. That's what you needed to do from the very start. If I'm wrong, he's right. You can have the same thing on the top, or you can have it on the bottom. And no, I just... no, Joshua. But even when I'm right, I'm wrong, and he's right. No, I need the other end of that chain. What are you talking about? I got a bunch of slack here, and I need to grab that hook and pull it through underneath. That hook comes to here. Man, I wasn't hooking it. I was just asking for some slack. Doesn't matter what I say, it's wrong, because I'm the parent. He doesn't take in the fact that I am his boss. That's because it's jammed up against there. Joshua. We're not going up. I know. I understand. And he could end up unemployed if he doesn't want to listen. Me? Oh, man. My old man. Got to get it up. Go up some more. There we go. Nice. Beauty. Holy f Yeah. We're going to inch our way home, man. I did what? The Jade City crew is stranded 55 kilometers out in the bush and trying to get a new track on their broken down excavator. Yeah, it, the, it's sitting on the rail, on top of it. It's almost all the way on. That's it. No more pushing. It's on, Dad. The sprocket fell into the track. Hey, I'm almost ready to roll. OK, you can let her down now. No real professionals would have had this done in an hour. Well, good thing we're not calling ourselves real professionals. Exactly. I am down. With the excavator repaired. OK, boss, let's go. Let's okay. rattle some more rocks. The biggest challenge of the trip is just around the corner. We're taking off. We're going to hit uh, Turnigan River. Crossing the swollen river this time of year will be tough. You're crossing it 
unless it's really low, you're definitely not the boss. That river will take you. You have to be very careful. A lot of water runoff coming down right now. The last stop before the river is a small camp where locals have been quadding. Traffic jam at the snowmobile camp. And they've just discovered firsthand how devastating the river can be. Three out of four went down today. This is a victim of the Turnigan. We're, uh, yeah. This is what we're looking forward to. And just the day before, two guys had flipped their quads over. That one, the green one, the black one. There was quads jacked up in trees, winched up there, draining out. They were ripping them apart, trying to get water out. There is some serious carnage. That's that turning in river. There's deep holes in there. You got to be careful. Wet. You can get very wet. We're going to the turn again. This is it, man. Hopefully, she doesn't eat us up. To help fend off the hungry river, Claudia and Robin asked the campers for assistance getting across. That's the river. Looks like a lot of volume in it. The Turnigan is running fast with runoff from melting snow. If you don't keep on that path and know sort of know where the rocks are, <laughs> you're tipped over, you're going down the river, you're pulled under. It is going to be exciting. We're ready. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy your dance. We're moving. Next time on Jade Fever. It's okay. No, no, slow down. Don't fuck. Stop. Stop. You gotta see these grizzly paws. Over there. The okay. road has been so. <laughs> I can't steer. If it's not level, the whole machine just slides. Yeah. It's okay. 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 No way. Oh my god. I wouldn't do it. You're gonna fall over.